When I get started, I want to just lightly sketch the shapes of the corn cobs and those husks. I also am going to use a little bit of overlapping. So the first corn cob I'm going to have in the center. And again, these shapes are natural shapes. The second corn cob will come from this area. And again, a little bit of overlapping. And I'm just being very loose about creating the husk. And then the third corn cob on the right side. Again, a little overlapping. And I'm going to make these husk shapes. When I am creating the kernels, I want to keep it pretty simple. About four or five rows of kernels. So I'm going to just draw these guidelines for the kernels. And this will be the kernels will fit within these lines. Now I'm going to move over and use a pen to draw the kernels. I don't want them to be perfectly round. I want them to be more oval. And I also am going to allow them to be a little uh, wavy and um, more organic or natural. I erased all the pencil lines and now I'm left with these shapes. I'm going to go back with the pen and add some shading in between the kernels. And then I'm going to add uh, paint using watercolor.
Now I'm going to add the uh, wash or very light uh, painting around the uh, corn cobs. And before I do that, I'll go back with some brown on the husks. It's pretty relaxing to create these rows of these uh, kernel shapes. And again, I just went through and I didn't do any careful hatching or cross hatching. It was more like scribbling kind of shading in between the kernels. And with, with my uh, black, you can see it's very light gray. I just decided to kind of clean the brush a little bit and, and play with, with creating a, um, a, a background, so to speak, that goes from our darker to lighter. Have fun, do your best, and I look forward to seeing your work.